Get to some news now. New legislation proposed in the Ohio House would shield COVID spreaders from lawsuits. And it would ban vaccine mandates for students. The bill proposed by two House Republican lawmakers would raise the threshold for winning a COVID lawsuit. Plaintiffs would have to show someone's exposure to the virus was caused by reckless or intentional conduct. It would also ban schools, colleges and government offices from requiring the COVID vaccine. Lawmakers passed a similar bill against COVID claims last year, but it expires September 30th. And as lawmakers debate the merits of bills like that one, local school districts are grappling with how to cope as COVID cases continue to spread. And today, the Cleveland school superintendent said he could not rule out a return to remote learning. Meantime, in the Riverside local school district, masks are a hot topic. Board members recently voted to make them optional for students. But as News 5's Jade Jarvis explains, some parents think the decision was politically motivated. She begins our team coverage tonight. With a three to two vote last week, Riverside Local Schools Board shut down a universal mask mandate inside school buildings. It's not sitting well with Julie St. John, who has three kids in the district. As of Tuesday, there have been 109 positive COVID cases reported to administrators. That's nearly half of the total number reported during all of last school year. Their safety and well being is obviously my number one concern. And I think for a school not to take just the simplest of preventative measures is very concerning. St. John and other like minded parents attended the last two school board meetings to express their opinions, as did parents on the other side of the aisle. Freedom is about being able to make choices. Now, masks should be optional. Masks are not normal. But St. John feels the decision wasn't made with kids best interest in mind. I think that the argument about uh, freedoms and civil liberties. Um, you know, unfortunately, in this instance, you it just doesn't work. It needs to be everybody collectively working together for the greater good to protect all of our children. We're, we're really here to defend the Constitution and implement the Constitution and to make sure that your constitutional rights are not violated. Thomas Heck is serving his third term on the board but he's also a member of Free Ohio Now, an organization formed last year in response to health orders imposed by the government during the pandemic. The group's website uses terms like plandemic and scamdemic and posts materials for businesses and citizens to oppose mass mandates. Heck is listed as the primary contact on several of the group's press releases, including this one from September 14th of this year. He has a clear conflict of interest and he's still on our board. Catherine Anderson, St. John and eight other parents wrote this letter to the board back on September 3rd, calling for the special meeting where the mask mandate was eventually shot down. She says since then, they've also reached out to the district about Hack's involvement in Free Ohio now, but there hasn't been a response. I feel helpless um, because I've done everything in my power, everything that I can to advocate for my student safety and every student safety. And it's it's on deaf ears in Painesville. Jade Jarvis News 5. So we reached out to the Riverside local schools for comment. They said, quote, the masking topic has been discussed during several of our recent board meetings. In addition, the board has received countless emails and phone calls over the past month regarding face masks in schools, many for mandatory masks in schools and many asking that masks in schools be optional. Ultimately, the board voted to keep masks optional by a 3-2 vote. This, this is the position of the Riverside Local School District Board of Education until further notice. We also reached out to Thomas Hack directly about his work with Free Ohio Now and how it relates to the school board. He was, un he was unavailable today, but said he would do an interview sometime early next week.